Hey, so how do you zoom in and out of the timeline, right? One way to do it is you have this little slider down here on the bottom, not very accurate necessarily, and it doesn't necessarily go in even as far as I would like it to. So one of the things that I do, uh, first off, whenever I'm on a new Avid or whatnot, I'm going to hit control three and I'm going to go over my user settings keyboard. And if I'm doing menu to button to reassignment, there's actually a little thing in the hamburger menu down here in the timeline called zoom in and zoom out. So a lot of people, you could go control and it's a bracket all the way over here on the right a keyboard. Uh, you're probably not seeing the whole keyboard with my little camera, but that's a really far way to go. So I actually might like to make these keyboard shortcuts onto my right here, the up and down arrow. So I have an Avid keyboard. It has the extra numeric keypad and it has the up and down arrow. And so when that is settled, so you can see right here, I have it set up to zoom in on the top, zoom in on the arrow going up and zoom out on the arrow going down. So when I get rid of this keyboard and this command palette, it's going to do that wherever the blue playhead is. So now if I press the arrow in and not only did, like I said before it goes in much farther than you can with just this slider right here so I'm zooming in I can actually hold it I don't even have to like tap it a million times to see where I want to go I can hold it down to zoom in really far or zoom in I zoom out at certain levels certain parts I want to go to right so this is always now I know you know I've always talked about keeping my hand by the left side of the keyboard but and I don't know this just visually works for me to know that I'm going up to zoom in and I'm pressing the arrow down to zoom out, right? So some another way people do it is people use this focus button, which is down here, and you can map to a keyboard shortcut. I don't really use it that much because most of my timelines, I'm very lucky to work on short form promos and short packages. So my timelines are usually much less than even five minutes per se. But think if you have an hour timeline, and this one I made is actually 40 minutes. So if you have this focus button right here, you see it actually just zooms in and out to that specific spot. So that is actually a very good keyboard shortcut if you're somebody that works in long sequences. So zoom in and out to timeline. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed your weekend just like I'm enjoying my weekend with some fresh beers. Lawson's Super Session number five for the first time. They've never had the Super Session number five before, but I do like the taste of it. And I want to thank you so much for watching and subscribing. The 2021 course is being built as we speak. Go check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.